Hey everyone, welcome to News to Astonish, where we discuss comic book related media and more. I'm your host, Ronnie, and today we got a bit of news to talk about. News that I certainly care about because, you know, for several reasons. Um, Venom is one of my all time favorite villains, anti hero characters of all time in the Spider Man universe specifically. So it has come to my attention, and I'm pretty sure it's come to most of your attentions that Tom Hardy has been casted as Venom. Now, how do I feel about this? I think it's great. I think Tom Hardy is a very well-respected actor, and I think overall he's a really good actor. Uh, the guy's amazing in everything he's in. In my opinion, I think this is a great casting. That does not change the fact that I'm iffy on this whole Venom movie thing, because if you guys recall in my last video where I talked about how Spider-Man's not involved in this new solo Venom movie that's been announced for next year in 2018, I said that like, it's not a great idea. Like I was like pondering, I was like going like, why is Spider-Man not involved in it? And how I thought that it was a bad idea. Like a Spider-Man is the foundation and the basis of what makes Venom, Venom, you know? It's what gave Venom a purpose to exist. You need Spider-Man in a Venom film, even if he cameos, even if he's in there for a few minutes, even if he's like the antagonist, uh, still, you need Spider-Man because without him, there's no basis for Venom. There's no foundation, basically. Venom would just have really no purpose unless you're going to throw like some sort of antagonist for Venom to fight off. But it really wouldn't be much of a movie because this Venom solo movie wouldn't have much of a, a purpose, you know. But as far as Tom Hardy goes, I think it's a great casting choice. I think Tom Hardy can pull off being Venom. He's been proven to play a very convincing, formidable foe. Like in The Dark Knight Rises, he was vain. And he's definitely got the size for it. He can bulk up and become Eddie Brock. And he definitely will sell it. He'd be a very convincing Eddie Brock, in my opinion. But that's pretty much it. You know, if this movie's going to be done, have Spider-Man in it. And then everything else will be fine. At least, I would love to see that this is connected to the MCU in some way or shape or form. But I don't think that's going to happen. And honestly, Sony, I think this is a bad move and a bad call on your part. Because your film division is not really doing that well. Um, and all you've got left right now is Spider-Man just holding you right there like you know it's just keeping you up right there and it's pretty much what's saving you because everything else is falling apart the only thing that's pretty much going on for you is your gaming division you know your playstation 4 and your games that's pretty much what what you got going on for yourself everything else is just crumbling down and spider-man's like the last bit of hope that you have as far as your film division goes i think that this is gonna bite them back like i i think that making a, a spider-verse film with spider-man characters without Spider-Man is a really bad call. I think they're really tenacious and they're just really overconfident overall, basically, because they think that since Spider-Man sells really well, which it does, they think that the Spider-Man characters would sell just as well. When in reality, Spider-Man is what pushes these characters to be good, you know, Spider-Man is what drives characters like Black Cat and Venom, you know, Doc Ock, the Sinister Six. It's what Spider-Man drives those characters to be compelling. And, you know, without Spider-Man, those characters are nothing. So I don't think you can do these movies without Spider-Man involved in any way, shape, or form. And that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Is a Venom solo movie still a good idea? Do you think that Tom Hardy is a good choice for Venom? Also, a reminder, I still have the giveaway going on. I'm giving away Secret Empire number 0 and number 1. So when I reach 200 subscribers, I will announce the winner for that. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Write down your thoughts and your comments down below. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next comic panel.